Hello everyone, welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy and today I will show you how to install the Apache 2 web service on a uh, Ubuntu Linux container. I will also show you how to configure the web service so that um, you can run CGI scripts or programs. I will also show you how to configure or map the port for the container so that you can connect to the web server. By default, the Docker image that you download uh, does not contain web service or web services so you need to download uh, a container image that actually has it or you have to install it manually so um, for this example you need to download a Ubuntu latest image so I already have one downloaded so I can type in docker images and here I have uh, a copy of Ubuntu latest it's only 72.9 megabytes so I want to type docker uh, run dash it for interactive Ubuntu and latest and I want to start bin bash I want to start this bash shell okay and I can see that I'm in it to see what services you have in Ubuntu you type in serv service and then um, using the stat status all option and here you can see that um, the Apache web service is not installed so before you want to install this you want to do um, apt get update okay and then go ahead and type in app get install apache 2 and hit enter and type y for yes okay so it's asking me to select the geographic area I'm gonna go ahead and select 12 for US press enter then I'm gonna pick uh, Pacific time zone okay done okay so let's verify that we have the Apache web services install so type um, service and type in service uh, status all and as you can see now Apache 2 is installed but the service has not been um, run yet okay still so to run this the Apache service you want to type in service start Apache 2 or I think it's service Apache 2 start
and then type service status all and as you can see the Apache 2 is now running now that we have our Apache 2 web service running let's um, CD2 etc Apache 2 directory oops I misspelled it and this is where the CGI configurations are located so mainly this is the file that I'm looking at, looking for so I can do um, uh, vim and you can see vim is not available so I need to install vim Okay, so Vim is now installed. Let's go and look at the configuration file. And you can see that we have uh, mod CGI, and then the directory that we want to look at is usr lib cgi bin. Okay? Okay, so let's exit out of Vim or VI Visual Enhanced um, Editor. So um, let's do a clear and then CD to USR lib CGI dash bin. Okay, so this is where all the CGI programs are located and being executed by the web servers. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, CGI script and using Perl. So I'm going to do vim test.cgi and I'm going to user bin Perl type in print content type text HTML and then print hello world so you can basically use any language you want but in this case I'm gonna be using Perl and then save this then change mod to 7 um, let's say 755 and this should be executable okay so this is what you the output looks like when you run it okay so we'll test the uh, test.cgi program later on when we actually run um, have the web page up and running so right now let's cd to etc um, cd to etc and I'm gonna go ahead and create a startup script to start the um, Apache web server so I'm gonna do vim startup dot bat and I'll go ahead and um, do bin bash and just type in service Apache 2 start okay so by default when we run this container the Apache 2 service does not automatically start hence we have to create this batch file and I'll show you how to implement it later on okay now do change mod uh, plus x startup okay and as you can see that startup now is executable
Okay, so now is a good time to save our VM. So let's do docker ps from a uh, different command prompt window. And you can see that this is the ID of the container. So we want to save this container to something else. So we type in docker uh, commit and then the actual container ID. Then we want to call this as something else. So we're going to call this Ubuntu. And I'm going to call this Ubuntu um, web service and then press enter okay and uh, it's it saved so we can type in docker images and you can see that there should be a Ubuntu and there should be a Ubuntu um, web service right here we just saved it 20 seconds ago okay so let's kill the uh, container that we are currently running so type docker ps and we can see that the container ID is this so we want to type in docker container stop and the actual ID of the container and press enter and you see that it exit the container okay so let's create a batch file to run the container with the Ubuntu web service. So I'm going to do notepad, let's say run uh, web service dot bat, and let's create a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and type echo off, I'm going to say docker container uh, stop. Um, web service right yeah I'm just gonna call Ubuntu web server and I'm gonna remove the web server if it exists already then I'm gonna go type in docker run as a name web server so run Ubuntu let's copy this guy here instead of retyping and then and I'm gonna exp uh, expose the port number so it's gonna be 8080 map to port 80 and the, the uh, container would be Ubuntu web service okay and I'm gonna run the startup script so docker execute dash it the name of our container and etc startup dot bat file okay and I'll type in docker execute dash it for interactive and Ubuntu web server bin bash so so uh, the way this work is that yeah if the container um, is running we're gonna stop it and if the, the name exists we're gonna remove it then we're gonna run the web server and I named it Ubuntu web server and I exposing uh, port I'm mapping the port 8080 to port 80 and here's the um, 
image that I'm running it's going to execute the startup that then it's going to run um, using it's going to load the bash shell on startup okay let's uh, go ahead and um, close the batch file and then let's um, run the batch file and this is correct because we don't have a Ubuntu web server container running yet Apache 2 has started okay and we're in the shell and we can type in um, service status all and you can see that Apache 2 has started and um, from a different command prompt window you can type in docker ps And as you can see, that port 8080 is mapped to port 80. And uh, let's bring up a browser. Okay, so the IP address of this guy, of the host, is uh, something like uh, one one. 68.0.130 and you need to type in colon 8080 and you can see that it says it works but this is just the Apache 2 web service that's running in the background we want to execute the CGI right so we, if we type in CGI dash bin type test.cgi and I get an error okay so we got an error go ahead and minimize the browse for, for the moment and come back to our um, bash shell so CD etc Apache 2 mod enable and it's very important basically with this container Ubuntu container that uh, we need to create a soft link so we need to do link dash s dot dot, dot mods available then cgi load okay that will create the link right here then you need to restart this the uh, apache uh, 2 service so type service um, apache to reload okay so that restarts the Apache 2 service and go back to the browser and then now it works okay so that's um, and we're able to basically run a CGI script with the Apache 2 server enable okay so that's all the time that I have for today. Um, please remember to press like and subscribe if you kind of like this kind of tutorial. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time.